Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> In honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to answer your questions on sex and love. Do it. Okay. First question. I'm 29 years old, and I've recently found myself in a sexual rut. Since the age of 17, I've enjoyed sex with many partners, 50 to be exact. Good. That's a good number. I'm proud of her. <laughs> good for you, girl. Um, for the last two and a half years, I've been in a monogamous relationship with a wonderful man. For some reason, I'm feeling less and less interested in sex. Every time he initiates, I feel suffocated. How can I save my relationship? So she likes him and loves him, but she the sex, she just doesn't want to have okay, sex. Okay, so here it him. is. Here it is. That it's that romantic love in the beginning of mm -hmm. all relationships. It's so good. The sex <laughs> is so hot. It is incredible. And you, you can't sustain that. Now, I know there will be people that say, oh, we're as every bit as much in love and having fabulous sex 30 years later. Well, good sex with each other, but I don't know if it's fabulous. Uh, it's going to be New like, sex. it's going to be mom and pop sex, which is a little less passionate, but it's functional. But you get off. Yes. You have orgasms. You can enjoy you know. yourself. Absolutely. So I would say a big part of this is our expectations. Yes. So we're going to, we compare how it was in the beginning with how it is now. Two and a half years later, mm. ho hum. The, the, you know, the newness is gone. That's it. It's the dopamine levels. When you're in romantic yeah. love, it, it, dopamine hits the same areas in your brain as cocaine. So that's why you can't eat and you can't sleep. You just want to be with them and you dream about them. And you just, and then that level's off. I wish I could do that with myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like think about myself and dream All about myself. All day long. And I, can't I, wait. I love me. I can't wait to get to, yeah. Well, I, I, I'll confess, I kind of do that with us. I watch our video clips again oh, and again. We, we do it, don't we? We're in love with ourselves. In this form. I know. Speaking to all of you and disseminating information. We are in love with our website. We are romantically in love with our website. Do you think it's going to last? I Let's keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't, we'll figure out a way to keep it going. It will. It will, it will last. Okay. Um, do you think love or being in a serious relationship enhances sex? Whether or not you think it brings a heightened level to the experience. Well, we just said in the beginning of any affair or relationship, that beginning passion is hard to beat. But well, what about when you're in love? Well, yeah, well, you, <laughs> you know, and Eric had a nine year run. We had actually, I broke it off before the ninth year. It was so eight years of really good sex. We had eight years of good sex. And That's then, pretty good. And then, but see, I'm in a different situation as the as the elder in the relationship. I knew I had to let go. It's time for him to move along. So I pulled back from partner sex, but I explained it mm -hmm. that I need, you know, he needs to go out into the world and I need to focus on my, my Find work. His own way. Yes. Drink and I use, water. I use the, 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 uh, the term, this is my time to work on my end game at my age. Your exit strategy. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to just, you know, leave that to chance. I'm going to plan it and design it. But you know what? What about the hate sex? There was this person I dated that Revenge. I, I really didn't like, and he would say and do things that would just really irritate me, but God damn it, this sex is so good. Well, that every I would always get that late night booty call, and you couldn't help but go back. This is the one I was breaking up with this one guy. You know, it's like, I'll never speak to you again, and then you'd get horny, and the phone would <laughs> ring, and then you'd say, That's what oh, you do. all I right, hate come you. on over, you know, and then you'd have sex, and it was like, Oh, I did it again. And then you'd feel bad about it. I'm always like, God damn it. And then, you know, God, but you always had to get out of their place before you started talking. Because I knew as soon as we started talking, it was going to be bad. You know, when you, you know? talk about love, it's so broad. We, we throw that word around like it has meaning. Mm -hmm. Like we agree on its meaning. So we, we just discussed romantic love. Then you have what I would call lust. conjugal love. Conjugal. Well, no, l lust goes into the romantic. You're right, because that's when you're lusting. Ah, yeah. In the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Then you have conjugal, which means marital. Um, and it's sort of assumed, or we should think in terms of this, that if you're married for a while, the sex can be good, and you can have fabulous orgasms and look forward to it, and it's warm and comfy, but it's Bye. not going to have that la-boom. Exactly. And that we have to learn. 
that it it's changes, changes over time. It's not always the same. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if I would want to be in romantic love 24-7. I don't think I'd get anything done. Oh, no, no. It no. would be horrible. It, is, it consumes your, your being. Yeah. So it's okay when it levels off. And then what about the love of a, a parent with a child? Well, that's the unconditional love. Yeah, unconditional love. And what's the other one? Oh, how about self-love? The love we have for ourselves. And I want you to know that I have known, I've been known to break up with me. I'm just like, that's <laughs> I've had enough of you. <laughs> I'm fed up. This is it. <laughs> I'm never going to talk to you again. That's it. That's the last orgasm you're going to get out of me. So How long does it last, though? Well. Before you're having a booty call with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Ross. Good one. <laughs> I love this question because this ties into the, the self-love. How can I learn to love my older body? Oh, you're talking. And we got a whole bunch of this because hanging out in Beverly Hills with the women getting older, being here with uh -huh. Sheila, you see so many women, you know, you're not going to be 22 forever. And I'm 35. I'm going to be 36 in April. And I can't tell you how many times people go, wow, you look square. I you could go for 25. And my answer is always the same. I like being 35. Well, I actually like being 80. God damn yeah. it. You know, I really do. <laughs> It's like, whoa, and everyone, well, I'm actually 79, but you know, I'm, in my, it up. I'm in my 80th year, yeah. basically. And so, you know, I'm not wild about my 80-year-old body. I mean, I liked it much better when I was 35, <laughs> but it's the one I have. And it changes, and it's different. And I and want to take care of it, and I want to enjoy it. It's ridiculous to start. We can't have these fixed image. You're right, when we were in Beverly Hills... A lot of those aging beauties. Ooh, we're not having a oh, happy time. <laughs> I don't want to go through that. You have to find a way to uh, uh, give yourself credit for who you are. You know what I think I'm going to do? What? I'm going to send myself a valentine. I love that idea. We should all send ourselves valentines. Happy Valentine's Day, Betty Ann. You've done a hell of a job. And I love you. I love you. I love you. You say it. Happy Valentine's Day, Carlin. I'm very proud of the work you put in last year and your generosity of spirit and the respect you have for the people and the world around you. So happy Valentine's Day to us.